Hello everyone, good evening, welcome back to Thea the Awakening! We are on the hunt for giants! We're gonna kill so many giants. If we can find any of the giants to kill. We're on the, uh... The end-ish of the giants quests. The start of the giants quest. It's not very long. It basically involves killing giants until we can fight the big giants. I've never done this approach where we just kill enough giants to make giant boss show up. Maybe maybe someone would call him the giant dad. The Umbridge Lord. Ooh, somebody's out of firewood. Oh, Storm Sanctuary's out of firewood. Uh-oh. Why on earth are we burning through so much firewood? The gatherers have like infinite firewood. Okay, just kidding. Giants are on hold. What on earth is going on here? I guess we've just always been really low on wood and we're also like out of ancient wood too. here this guy five do we have a seven to give you no we can give you a six don't know if it's gonna matter four s shoot <laughs> dang it oh you're oh you even have a strength ring this is not good this sucks do you want to go even lighter on the armor we could do that we're just making like random magic armor. That's cool. Um, that is surprisingly heavy armor that I have you wearing right now. We're still just a little ways away. 60, 80. Oh, and everything's halved because... Oh, 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 everything's halved because we have no firewood. Oh, 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 I'm back. I'm... I understand. I understand. Um, I don't like doing this. We'll burn the elven wood. We don't really have any use for it. We'll burn the dark wood. We're not using that for anything either. Okay, so the problem is this stuff, like the food. Right? Every other turn we're using like a hundred wood. Probably not really that much. Would it be better if we consolidated our efforts and we're just everybody going all in on... It doesn't matter. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Bravo squad, you are now exclusively gathering wood. Probably this little trio right here. There's nowhere where we could get more than three, right? Right here. Never mind, just kidding. Oh, geez, what is that? You see fresh boar tracks. It looks like a large pack. Don't care. Ancient hive. Paludnica? I don't know what that is. A ghosty thing of some sort? Interesting. Well, we're going to be marching into the middle of that here very soon. Gatherers, how are you guys doing on stuff? Dragon bones? Oh, they have like hundreds of wood. They'll be okay for a little bit. Um, how much wood do you guys actually have? Not very much. We're going to have them gather wood for a little bit. I'm going to have them about face and go here. The shorter turnaround will also be very helpful. Sheesh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, they're that sucks. They're gonna be like in a not good situation until they get their wood. What is this? Orc fighters. We're gonna shut down this five skull raider lair, I guess. Since we don't know where any giants are. Oh good, they're being attacked by things. 
What are these cool ghost ladies? What is this? That's just what they are. They're cool ghost ladies. I don't know what they are. I need to go, like, look them up in, in mythology and see what these are. Other than awesome. Um, yeah, we'll just throw down, get some, get some murder going on here. <laughs> That's still not going to help. Okay. We win. Easy fight. That was cool. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, goblin slavers. Sure, let's just fight. We have fought the goblin slavers so many times in this playthrough. Usually, I'm, like, surprised if I encounter one or two. This has been just ridiculous. I probably could have... Probably still can. Never mind. We did it. We're good. We're fine. We're awesome. We're the best. We're so strong. Man, elves are just, like, broken if you get them really, really good axes. Um, Two-handed, like, swords also kind of work, but nothing does as much damage as a two-handed axe. Perun is surely pleased with our might. And now we leave. Hey, we got a kid and a gatherer. <laughs> and for the second time, we have won the game. We must have just, that must have been the 50th person. Yep, 50th person. That was him right there. That was it. Uh, you know what we're going to do? Mojlav? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He is 50. That's his name. Because that's, that's what he is. That's what he just did to us. Luckily, we have a bunch of crap floating around here. Unluckily, he cannot wield much. <laughs> okay. And, nope. Um... He gets no weapon. <laughs> this is terrible. We gotta take him back home. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll just go gather up here. Storm Sanctuary is good for a little. They'll be burning their elven wood, and we are gathering that stuff, right? Did I mean I I meant to be doing that? So the elven wood we are burning to stay alive. The actual wood is what we're cooking with. Which is frankly absurd. Actually. How much coal do we have here? We have a ton of coal. Oh, I should have just done this off camera. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, meat and nuts, pierogi. I think is baked, roasted, roasted. Um, nuts. And are we doing this with fish also? What does this give us? Fish pie. I know somebody is making fish pie. Infinite fish pie all the way to the top of the screen. Yes. We're not going to move everything over to coal, but we'll move a few things. Um, and then, whoops, that with meat, so roasted meals. We could also do bird meat. Yeah, let's do bird meat. Chicken pies, delicious. Infinite chicken pies, move them to the top. 
I know we don't have infinite chicken pie material, but it doesn't matter. Uh, um, sure. I do want pierogies, so we'll put that up there. That one theoretically can go infinite. Okay, so we'll get rid of you. Um, nobody's making roasted fish. We'll take you off of fish casserole and have you up there for the time being. So that's three that are on coal. Um, we still have one. Um, we can count wood. Six, twelve... 18. Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay. Um, cooked greens for the wolf. We'll put those up there. And this is just this one. Were you making... Oh, hey, kitty cat. What are you doing? Yeah, Mario. <laughs> oh, you know what? Did I nuke the cooked greens that were here? I guess it doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, it was two wood into one coal. The other one was six wood into two coal. So that we get more bang for our buck if we just do the ones that are re really wood expensive. That was the only one like that's not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Two for the bigos. Um, two for the meat stew. Oh no, we only have two for that. I think it's this. What if we do fish and seaweed? What does this give us? Are we doing these? Fish tartare? We should be. Tech, work on fish tartare. Okay, that should help alleviate our wood situation a little bit. We still are in desperate need of wood. So we are still going to do this. this is such stupid overkill. But whatever. You do what you gotta do, right? Um, we can't actually have people bring in some bones. Let's do that. Just kidding. Okay. Just as long as we're getting everything in one turn and the game's not going to prompt me for people that don't have anything to do. Okay, good. Crisis... Um... On the path to recovery. Yeah, we we're just going to attack. Three Orc Witches, two Matrix, and seven Fighters. This is going to be tough. Do not auto. Oh my gosh, I would kill myself if I clicked that button. And also all my people. I would feel so bad if I did that. Um, yep, hammer down first. Always, always, always hammer up front. Kill as many things as we can. Oh, piercing, that's garbage. Kill as many things as early on as we possibly can. We don't have any uh, counter tactics on this side. Or counter offense, I mean... <laughs> 5 HP. Well. Sure, I'll put the Baba Yaga down. Somebody's gonna have to be first action to deal with that matriarch. Probably Gotrol. He is not gonna need a damage boost because of the situation. I should have played a piercing person. That's fine. Um. Counter tactics. Okay. And we just take down as many of them as we can. I'm genuinely worried about 
Nothing. Gotchol should be fine. If we just first action Gotchol, he should be fine. If they first action anybody else, we have two more that we can do, technically. Um, 55 damage, that should be enough. Um, the Orc Matrix has no way of getting any additional armor or shielding or anything. So yes, you should be good. Okay. Um, sixes or sevens. Yeah, there's really just not a lot that we can do here. Do you want 60 damage? Do you want, do you want 20 extra damage? Um, let's not do that. Shielding. I don't think you're going to take any damage from anything. I think you should be okay. I will support you. Whatever you choose to do, I shall support it. You can get closer. Hell yeah. Um, so at most they'll have one person that they can first action. Here, have a point of shielding. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, whatever. Okay, alright, cool. Feels good. Just kill another one. Yay! Piercing is like brokenly overpowered in this game. Love it. Alright, I was a little bit spooked. We took a single damage. That's okay. That's pretty good. This is the sort of thing that we've been actually making. Um, I actually probably would have reversed it. Oh well. Silver and iron. Nah. Elven wood, no. Um, we'll keep the traps thing. Medium armor, shield, heavy armor, don't care about. Don't care about those. Um, ooh, the assassin's gloves. We can give those. I've been meaning to do this. I keep forgetting. Um, we can give those to... Yeah, snake man. Snake boy. Losing the attractiveness, willpower, intelligence is kind of rough. His stealth will be a bit more helpful now. We'll do that. The traps boost to one of our hunters would be kind of cool. Take you from 10 to 12. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's worth it. Never mind, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, and now we look for giants, which is on the hunt for giants. We'll just swoop around up here and see if there are any giants. You are ambushed. A group of thugs stands in your way, bearing weapons and vile grins on their unshaven faces. They look determined and unafraid. From their confident stance and sideways glances, you suspect they may have friends hiding nearby. We're just going to auto through this. This is the bandit captain. We could flirt with him and maybe recruit one of the bandits or something. You beat I... the bandits. Yeah. They scamper away with broken noses and bruised egos. Some will never leave this place. You search their equipment and gather up what remains useful. I don't even think a plus seven range damage thing is good for this group. I think we're already beyond that. Oh, good. Now we can't see it's nighttime. We're going to get ambushed by giants again. I hope not. All oh, right, Bravo Squad. Forgot that you guys were down here by the bees. Can we auto through the bees? You can. Thank goodness I didn't want to deal with that fight. <laughs> Um, you guys are going to be attacked by, like, some bats or something? Still no giants, like, actually on the map, which stinks. Another night falls over th thanks to the Lapiduk. Yay, a Lapiduk! Woohoo! Bonus willpower. You come across a dead body lying in some sort of ditch. You search the corpse and find some of its belongings still intact. Now that you take the time to look at the scene, you see that the ditch. Don't care. What is that? 
Oh, Cain. That's cool. I'm standing out on the map. Uh, man. Okay, how is Storm Sanctuary doing, like, fire-wise? You guys building up a surplus of wood yet? Uh, production's a good way to see it. 39. Okay, they are. Okay, so we, we have solved the wood problem for the most part. Okay. Phew. I was super scared by that. Um, Bravo Squad is still going to bring back a stupid amount of wood. Another night for. Hey! Another Lappy Duck. This game really does seem to give a lot of uh, repeat events. I wonder if that's you are intentional. Set upon by a small group of rugged looking dwarves. Their faces are scarred. As nope, we're in a very murdery you mood. You have defeated the Ooh. dwarven bandits. You realize a few of them have somehow broken their weapons in a last act of dying, but perhaps some can be salvaged. Dang. Um, we did get some mithril. Molly Baga took a lot of woundage. She will be fine. We just need to rest somewhere. We have no more movement. The whole land is the tremors and these freaking earthquakes. Somebody should really do something about those giants that are causing all these earthquakes. You guys can rest. Just somebody get some fruit. I don't know. Sure. Have the snake help you too. Um, gatherer, strength, 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 and gathering. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, the Bravo Squad. Just a little bit of everything. That's fine. Hey, 50, you're gathering stuff. That's cool. We're going to leave you back at base. <laughs> we don't really have any stuff for you. Um, our Druid is better at medicking. More tactics. That's pretty cool. Lots of traps this time around. Look at that. Tactics. The crafting is just, frankly, useless. Smaze's old minions are getting a bit stronger. That's also very, very, very welcome. Gathering, strength, shielding, willpower, leech. Are you the same vampire rat? You're up to three. Yeah, one of our rats is maybe turning into a vampire. Oh yeah, and a child wraith. Just work it in the kitchen. Okay, phew, it wasn't giants. Um, auto? I'm like, we're playing super fast and loose with the auto button today. Just the way it's going. You realize a group of attackers is approaching your village fast. The group of crazed scavengers attacks your village. They you divide your... We will divide the party. Your strike team defeats the scavengers, while your defenders manage to hold off much of the scavenging. Alright, bonus to tactics, I'll take that. Lots of bears, where are they all coming from? I don't know. Just There's just a lot of bears wandering around there. Oh, there's a giant cave. That might be the giants that we need. Who? Oh, yeah. I know you guys aren't doing anything. You finished the crafting. Uh, I don't know what else I want you guys to work on. Oh, you can't do that because we're out of um, dragon leather. Okay, you know what? We're at 8 out of 10 on the buildings. We have a research point. Um, the manger would be cool. The barracks gives us um, just straight attack power when something attacks. Did we ever build the blessed tree symbol? There's the archery range. It gives everybody um, ranged attack power in the village. And it opens up hunters for whenever any child grows up. So, not bad. Did we build the Blessed Tree symbol? I meant to. I don't think we ever did. We did not. Well, whoops, that is the wrong button. Construction. Okay. If we just throw a bunch of crap in here real quick and just see what we get. Plus four permanent bless. And plus four remove curse. Um, plus four is like maybe the number of blessings that won't go down or something. I don't know. May as well just, you know, go super big on this, right? 
Uh, we'll use straw as the catalyst. Obsidian? Hey, plus three and plus two to trek goblin. Don't know if that's what we want. Oh, we can use gems. Oh, 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 let's do that. And ruby? The plus goblin thing doesn't really matter that much right now. Plus four. Um, we don't even have enough stuff to like experiment and see if we could get above a plus four. Or if it would matter. I don't even know if it matters. goes down to two. We can only get up to plus three if we're using the rubies. So if we go all in on granite, we just get plus four and minus four. Ah, uh, sure. Seems good. That seems fine. It'll generate 31 points for us. 37 points. Thirty-five. Yeah, we'll go for thirty-seven. Do you get us more? Forty-one and six hundred. Yeah. The track goblin is just so insignificant. It's not going to matter this late in the game. But sure, we'll just do this. All hands on deck. This will buy me four turns of not having to deal with you babies. <laughs> um. We can make a barracks as well. Oh, I would love to have a lot of, like, ancient wood to make the barracks. Bravo squad, how are you guys doing? What are you working on? I would love for you to go get some ancient wood. They're just gathering all sorts of stuff. They'll eventually go home. Nice, fat rat, you had enough. Okay. Um, fruit would be good. Veggies are okay. It's just fruit. I really don't even want quartz. Okay. What are the gatherers doing here? Dragon Bone. They're up to 75. That's a lot. That's very nice. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Thunderers, as soon as you guys can see again. We're getting close. Who has nothing to do? Oh, us. Duh. The Thunders. Don't care. Just some bears. Ooh, people are getting wounded. That sucks. That's okay. It'll be fine. Maybe building a medic hut would be good. Before you is a group of black wolves attacking something. As you look closer, you realize that you see that the child is... You send a small group to... We'll split. We'll send some people to fight the wolves. Fight the cat, some to fight the wolves by the baby. Save everybody. Can we save them both? It was not easy, but both cat and child are fine. The cat's eyes shine gold and you... Yes, yes. We've had that one a couple of times now. Now we have another child. We have so many children. Even after sacrificing six to the arena. Ooh, and Perrin's name. Enter the storm with pride. Embrace Perrin's grace. Woohoo! Perception and shielding. Those are good. That's very nice. Can we see any giants anywhere? Why are the giants so hard to track down? We'll go down to the giant cave that's down at the bottom. There's a giant cave right there. That might be spitting out giants for us to go fight. I don't actually know. You see fresh boar tracks. 
It looks like a large pack. Yeah, yeah. Still don't want to deal with A force. figure, clad in a ragged dark green cloak, slowly approaches your party. As he gets closer, it is clear he is... The dark curse upon this creature runs deep. I'm skipping through a lot of these because there are a lot of repeat quests and things. A lot of events that we've seen before. Um, we've run into this. This is how we, I think we got our very first elf. You take out the fresh carcass of a chicken. You spread the blood on the face of the elf who stares at you blankly. You perform a dance. Thank you, human. Once more, you prove me ignorant. Here, take this gift as my friend and let us continue our journey. All right. There we go. Another free elf. We have so many elves. Um, Elven Wanderer. This is better armor. This is a much better ranged weapon. Enjoy them both. Three. Welcome. You're up to six. Doesn't that feel good? We're going to get rid of that crappy old bow. I wanted to get rid of this for so long. Bad quality. I don't even care. If somebody else can have range damage. I use it so infrequently. It doesn't matter. What? Why did you guys not... You made them both already? Oh, no. We didn't make a barracks. Okay. Never mind. Phew. I was worried by myself for a moment. Um, We're just going to do, like, boring bone leather shields just to make them. That's 11 points per each one that we make. We're just going to make, like, as many of these as we can. 17. Somebody just go work on those. That'll keep you busy for a while. Um, we'll make, like, really bad hammers, too. Yeah, use up this quartz. Yeah, 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 yeah. That feels real good. Um, we're burning through our coal like crazy, too. Big hammer. Somebody else just work on those for a bit. Um, shields. Again, I don't. I'm not after like good gear. I just want people to be making gear. Anything at all. What do we have a lot of? Magic bones. We're bringing more of those back. Um. Maybe like that. Rib cages. Ugh. Five magic for each, or five uh, research for each one of those we make. That's fine. 25 ish turns. I'm happy with that. Who? Oh, right. New guy. New elf guy. Uh, wait, how are you guys doing on. I just wanted to look at that while I was there, and then I didn't. Almost at 100 dragon bones. We'll head back with them soonish. I wish we could find some giants. Man, there were giants everywhere, and now there just are no giants anywhere. And by everywhere, I mean we saw you are ambushed by a shadow giant and his minions. Here's one. You feel a gust of cold air as they approach, and you know they are filled with the darkness. The giant whispers, his voice ringing in your ears like an ice pick. Give me your soul. Hey, I'm actually happy to see you. Isn't that weird? Stand and fight. You must kill these fiends to try and get to their leader anyway. So let's do it. No, don't auto. Oh my gosh. Brain, what are you doing? Don't do that. That's so bit, so bad. So dangerous. I, I want to live to fight the giant king. The shadow giant king. I do not want to throw away my life. Clicking the auto button. All right, we'll get both of our hammers down. They're not going to be doing any, like, pierce. Oh, never mind. These are shades. Oh, 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 right. We're not fighting, like, the Velcolodes and stuff. Okay. Yeah, no, this is... You're both dead, and we're probably killing whatever comes next, too. Um, 13, 15. Do we have any, like, really, really high... 16? Hell yeah, I'm the best. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, I think we've already won the fight and don't even need to play anybody else, but we'll just, we'll humor the game. We'll keep going. I'm here in my brain. I'm like, oh, it's like the wild wives are going to have like 150 HP again. Uh, it's going to be so tedious to fight them all. But no, it's just 
regular boring shadow giants. So easy. We're not even going to play the rest of our cards. You defeat the shadow giant and its minions of darkness. All right, a very shiny gold hammer. I'll take the gold, thank you. Okay, I'm actually glad to run into that event then. That was unexpected. Um, we're going to just drop down here next to Bravo Squad and give them a bunch of our junk. Um, honestly, we don't need more than like 20 wood. Whoops, other way around. I'm used to the thunders being on the other side. Give them just a whole bunch of junk. Um, they might not be able to carry it all back, so maybe we prioritize a little bit. Take the baby, please. Hmm. We could really boost the traps on one of our trapper people, one of our hunters. I was afraid of that. Alright, Bravo Squad, what do you guys have? They have a lot. That's the answer to that. They're very overburdened. They have a lot of junk. Boy, who gave you all this junk? <laughs> Where did all this come from? You can just get rid of the iron, I guess. Alright, Bravo Squad, go home, please. You see the skies darken and the air getting heavy. The wind picks up and thunder strikes. Strangely, this seems to happen only around you, as you see clear skies up ahead. All right, we'll take a look. Blessed by Perrin's wisdom, you recognize that you must have entered the territory of the wind demons, the Vili. Known for their territorial instincts, the Vili do not like intruders and rarely take time to discuss the matter. Indeed, you now see several winged creatures circling you among the dark clouds. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to fight him. We can do the banishment thing. Um, have we tried talking to them? Do we have any talking ability in this? In this team, our shade can talk. In the name of Perrin, the god of thunder and storm, stand down! We'll see if this works. I don't think we've tried this option before. I don't know. We're not good talkers. We're very, very bad talkers. Hopefully they're also equally bad. Boy, we're getting to go first in, like, a lot of these fights. That feels good. Feral bit of trouble here. Le Ooh, we can confuse. Ooh. Um, let's give you enough damage to take that one out. And then counter offense. Oh, the crow. Dang it! I was hoping to get rid of a villi. Oh, that feels like a waste. Ugh. Okay, um, you really can't do much at all, so wait, let's just throw lots of confusions into this. Oh, they can't do anything! Oh, they're the crows and they literally can't be played. They have no stats. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right. Um, uh, uh. So we'll put the Striga down here, and I will support you. Please 
please, please just go. Please combat. Here we go. Mm. All right, we might actually be able to pull this off. That's that. I should have switched mm. what I did there. That's okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. There's one left. It's a giant freaking crow. <laughs> Yay! Kill it! Yell at the crow until it goes away. Shoo! Go on, bird. Mm. Get out of here. The wind calms down and the skies brighten once more. The villi remain in the air watching you, but they do not attack. Sweet. You are free to continue your journey. Ooh. Okay. All right. That was that was fun. Nice little diversion since we can't find any giants anywhere to fight. Tower. Intellect our way up. It worked. Yay. I got some crap that I don't care about. Woohoo. Um, Bravo squad. We will leave you guys with like 20 wood. Drop off everything else. Um, Two kids. Jeez. Where did they come from? Where are all these children coming from? Drop off. Whoops. That was all of our wood. Stop. Camera. The thing scrolling up and down. I'm being too reckless here. All right. Well, we got up, got rid of all of our food, too. I was not paying attention. Um, I'll give them... Yeah, we'll give them all of these. I will manage that on my own. Off camera. You don't have to watch me deal with that. Give them just a ton of food. Uh, like a hundred dish of that, a hundred dish of that. Give them a little bit of meat stew. They don't need too much. Some duck and plum sauce. That seems like it'd be real good. Here, eat all of the fish pies. I have 500 fish pies. We're not going to give them that many, but geez, that's a lot. Why are we making so many fish pies? Get back to the grilled fish, somebody. Whoever was doing that. Did I give them wood? I gotta take that wood. Okay. A couple hundred wood will be nice. Back home here. Uh, manage supply. Storm Sanctuary. You are not burning elven wood or dark wood. You're only burning regular wood. We should be able to afford that. That should be okay. Um, eat the fish pies for the love of God. Who is making fish pies? You're you're fired. You're off of fish pie duty. Oh yeah, she has the mithril. <laughs> That's right, she has the mithril crafting hammer. I forgot about that. She is obliterating the, the food. Bravo squad, you guys can have all of this. Um okay, that feels good. Oh, we have the person too. Number 50. We'll find something for him to do when I'm, I'm off camera. Um, I guess just ancient wood. We need a lot of that stuff. And probably more dragon leather, too. I don't know. You guys are going to go deal with the nothing. Never mind. Just kidding. We're going to have to bring the actual gatherer team back here soon. Hey, look, it's the bird tree again. I should just fight those birds and be done with it. How are the gatherers doing up here? Um, yeah, they're going to be hitting their carrying capacity fairly soon. So let's just have you guys break camp and start heading back. You guys can go right back up here. You can go down here. Giant cave. I don't know if attacking the giant cave will count. We did the Moroki Shadow Giant fights. We did a wild wives and velcolod fight we did the shadow giant fight that we got attacked by them as we were on our way down i don't know if that counts but we had a special dialogue option so this giant cave might be four i don't know if i don't i don't know i just don't you know approach a group of giants and you have just enough time to figure out the best approach we will charge
is okay. Okay, so that, you you will just kill the wildlife. That is awesome. Um, sure, the Striga, that's fine. Okay, they don't have any tricks up their sleeve or anything. So, congratulations. I hope you enjoy having the entire battalion of archers, everybody else, support the hell out of you and your damage. <laughs> Good luck. Look at that, she almost killed it by herself. That's so cool. You slay the giants. Okay, all right, we did it. Um, we'll, we'll hold on to the crossbow, I guess. Bad quality, gold thread. Ugh. Okay, and we still need more. So more giant hunting. Are there any more like giant caves or anything? I genuinely don't even know where to look. I guess we're just going to start this big, grand exploration, wandering around the world looking for more giants. Um, Bravo squad, you guys can camp. I'll come back and deal with what you guys are going to gather here in a moment. Um, the gatherer crew. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we run around down here in the dark, I guess. We've explored everything else, so... Sure, yeah. Um, I might need to start clearing out, like, the bat's nest and these little, like, ruins areas. And trying to, like, force new things to spawn on the map. New monster... Monster homes? Monster lands? Because if we get more giant's caves, I'm assuming those count? I don't know. Um, yeah, but we're just... You lose your footing and fall into a really deep ditch. You quickly realize you are not alone and that you have fallen into a viper's nest. Calm the snakes. You know a thing or two about animals and you remember that there are ways to calm snakes and even make them do what you command. You think it has something to do with flutes or perhaps just your inner energy. Do that. Go. You focus your mind and remember what to do. Ooh. You stand up, calm and assertive, and take out your wooden flutes. The melody you play makes the snakes still and benign. You are able to climb back up without any trouble, and you even find some granite on your way up. All right, pro tip, always carry around your wooden flutes. Never go anywhere without them. <laughs> Never leave home without them. Um, yeah, can I get you guys back close to home? Cool. I am going to probably give our people more stuff to craft back home. Uh, I'll get set up Bravo Squad. I'll just do that stuff off camera here. You guys don't need to watch me fuss with that. You've seen enough of that already. And then I guess the Thunders are just going to stomp through and start taking out these nests and things because we need to find some giants. And I am I'm struggling to find enormous creatures that cause earthquakes when they walk. And I, I have no way to explain that. So, yeah. Cool. That's what we got to look forward to for the next, who knows, 100 videos? I don't know how long this is going to take. We're not finding any giants. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Oh wow, I just realized that the Thunders are almost out of food, too. That's scary. We need to send them home to get food. Dang it. So much to do.